This is the new City Block backpack from Fieldum. It's the latest in their accessible line of backpacks. I'm pretty excited to tell you guys more about this bag. I'm actually on my way to the park right now. One of my favorite places to debut new products. My name is Sam. This is The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. So hang on out. When we get back, we'll be at the park and we'll talk about the new City Block backpack from Fieldum. So Fieldum is at it again, coming out with a new backpack. It's a smaller, more compact design and they have improved it tremendously over the previous versions. Before we take a look at the backpack, I have to give a huge thank you to Fieldum for sending this out to me so I can make this video. So if you saw my previous video about the performance block backpacks, which I will include in the video description and popping out on the screen right now, then you will absolutely recognize the design of this bag as being very familiar. They have kept the traditional blocky shape because these bags were originally created for wheelchair users and that square blocky shape was designed to fit nicely behind a wheelchair. One great aspect of that blocky shape though is that it stands up. That is probably one of my favorite things. I cannot stand when you put a bag down on a table and it just falls right over. No problem with this standing up. But the other benefit is maximum use of space. You have a ton of space inside of this bag. Of course, our patches have returned and these are Velcro. So they are positionable all over the bag. Tons of Velcro options on the bag for attaching your patches. You do want to put it on there straight though, so it looks nice. There we go. We also have patches on all the exterior pockets. And if you remember from our previous video, these patches are all unique and labeled with Braille. So not only is it a way to customize your bag and add a little bit of personality, but you can also label all your pockets so you can keep track of your items. Speaking of pockets, that is probably the biggest improvement they've made is adding in a ton of pockets. If you did watch my previous video, that was one of my critiques is they were lacking in pockets. Well, not anymore. They have added a ton of pockets. I should probably count how many there are. Fourteen pockets and a very large water bottle pocket as well. So 15 total. You might also notice this cane pouch has returned and it has even been improved. Now it has a zipper to open it up. So if you need to access your canes a little bit easier, rather than pulling them in and out of the top, you can do that. The pouch also has two clamps to attach it to the bag. You have a carabiner style clamp at the top and then just a, I don't know, I know what this would be called, like a compression clamp at the bottom. And if you're wondering how big it is, what size canes can it accommodate? I actually have two canes in here right now. Both of them are four segment canes. This one is an Ambutech uh, slimline cane, so it's a little bit thinner, but this is a more traditional Ambutech mobility cane. It can even easily fit my five section NFB cane. And here comes a helicopter right above us. Hey, I'm vlogging here. This is one of the reasons why we record in a nice controlled environment like a studio. <laughs> Uh, anyway, another critique I had of the previous version, which they have also improved, is the handle at the top. It is much more robust. It's a thicker strap of nylon, which makes it much easier and more comfortable to pick up. On the back here, first of all, we have our very padded back piece with the mesh that makes it super breathable. It's gonna make it a much more comfortable bag to carry. Our straps super padded. And one aspect of the performance block that I was very happy to see come back with this generation is all of the little connection points, all the places that you can clip things onto. We have some D-rings here, and then we have these little strap loops. I don't know what you would call them, but you need to clip uh, your set of keys on a carabiner to this, which is what I've been doing. You can definitely do that. A water bottle. This is one of my favorite places to clip a water bottle when I'm traveling. You have a strip up each side of the bag here that have also have little straps 
and more D-rings that you can clip things to. That's what I had the cane pouch clipped to. And then of course, all along the front, all of these dark lines here are little straps, nylon strap loops that you can clip things to. We also still have our super accessible zipper pulls. They have big finger rings that make it super easy to grab and open up. And it is a very smooth zipper, no binding at all. We also have feet on the bottom, which is going to protect the bottom when you set it down on surfaces. What else? What else? I mean, there's so much to talk about. The straps, we still have our, ch where are you? There it is. We still have our chest strap here, which I love. This allows you to secure it a little bit more on your chest to keep it from bouncing around. It also comes with a waist strap that clips into these plastic clips at the bottom. So if you want it even more secure, you're gonna be doing some running. Well, this will keep it nice and secure. It won't have it bouncing around on you. All right, let's talk about the inside and all of these pockets. Once again, we have pockets on the outside, short pockets up top, long pockets down below for like a cell phone or a wallet or a external charging battery, things like that. We have a big pocket on top here, lots of room. I've got my cell phone in there. Flipping it up, we have a mesh pocket on top here. I got a lot, bunch of stuff in my bag. I've been using it. <laughs> I actually use these things, I don't just, take them out of the box, make a video, and then pack them away again. I actually use these things. We have another mesh zippered pouch on the front here. Down below, we have another mesh pouch. On the back, we have a zipper pouch here, pocket, I should say. Then we have a laptop pocket, which is fantastic. I know that was another thing that was missing from the previous generations of bags. There was a way to insert a laptop or a tablet into those bags, but it wasn't exactly ideal. Now we have a proper laptop or tablet pocket. Then yet another little pocket in front of that one. On the left side, we have a Velcroed little pouch here that has a flap. Below that is another one that's nice and deep. Those two interior pockets pretty much match these exterior pockets as far as size. Then on the right side here, we have a very large water bottle pocket pretty much extends the entire length of the side. So you could use that for a water bottle, I could use it for a tripod, and then even more little attachment points in here. Here's a D-ring if you wanna store your keys on the inside here. And then of course, just oodles of room in here. And just to give you guys an idea, I have a full tripod, my full-size camera, a second tripod, two phones, I'm bringing three canes, this little external pouch, I have a gimbal in a case, my microphone system comes in a case, and I even have a water bottle. All of this I'm carrying in my bag without any problems. Now, all of that does fill it up. This isn't a giant bag, okay? So if you're gonna need a really large bag, then I would recommend looking at some of the other performance blocks because this one is a smaller, more compact, everyday carry kind of bag. Okay, so let's take a break from the park. We are back in the studio because we need to talk about new styles, new colors, availability, all of that. So first things first, the City Block is available for pre-order right now with a 15% discount if you pre-order, and the bag will be shipping out at the beginning of September. It will be available in three colors, a dark navy, forest green, and this one here, my favorite, the Arctic white. They all come with matching cane pouches and a yellow rain cover. Wait a minute, did I even tell you about the rain cover? Yes. So now they all have a rain cover. It's got the uh, field of logo on it. And this is a handy little thing to carry with you in case it starts to rain. You can cover up the bag and it will protect all of the contents. Both the large and medium performance block bags have gotten upgrades, two upgrades actually. One is called HD32, which sounds pretty cool if you ask me. And that includes white zipper pulls and an orange lining. 
It also comes with a rain cover and it's still available in those same colors as before. Then the second upgrade for both the performance block bags is called S series. The large will be coming in the same colors as the city block along with the zippered cane pouch and the rain cover and the medium performance block S series. It's still in the works. It's probably going to have the same colors and will have extra pockets. All right, let's talk about the cane pouch and the different accessory pouches. If you want, you'll be able to get the zippered cane pouch separately, and it's going to be coming in a new color called Electric Kiwi. I gotta say, I love all the crazy colors. I mean, too often we have the, the same boring colors like black and gray. Why shouldn't we liven it up a little bit? There's a new crossbody bag that's available and the Quick E pouches and Tecmo pouches have also been upgraded mainly to include a shoulder strap. Okay, before we jump back to the park, I wanted to let you know that I was able to get a promo code for all of you guys watching the video. So for one month after this video goes live, you can get 15% off all of the low vision gear at Fieldum. Just use the promo code SAMBLOCK, S-A-M-B-L-O-C-K, all one word, all uppercase. Use that at checkout to get 15% off all the low vision products. Cicadas, oh my gosh. You can tell we're in the South. All right, guys, I'm gonna head on out. The bugs are starting to come out. You guys can hear them. I've got a long walk home, but at least I will be walking in comfort. Thanks again for watching. If you would like more information about Fieldum, I will include contact information down below where you can purchase this bag. And don't forget my previous video on the performance block talking about Fieldum, the company, and how they got started making accessible bags for the disabled community. Really amazing story. Check that out. That will also be listed down below. And of course, if you guys need to get in touch with me, check out my website, theblindlife.net. There's a contact form on there. You can also just send me an email, sam at theblindlife.net. Follow me on all my other social medias. And of course, the podcast, the Blind Life podcast was just released. Huge thank you to you guys for all the support. Definitely check out the podcast where I'm posting audio from some of my favorite YouTube videos and new content. But that is it, guys. As always, this is Sam with The Blind Life, helping you live your best blind life. I will see you next time.